Okay, here we go. Browns scribbles on video. Boy, are we high tech here. Number one, you know, so Odell Beckham blew into town basically for one day. In fact, I know some people were upset. Why did the Browns have their press conference the same day as the Indians had their home opener? I didn't like it either, but talking to the Browns and then finding out later, <laughs> Odell Beckham only committed to come in for Monday. He was in Paris when he got traded. You know, this is a different guy here. You know, he, he's a global icon or whatever. He travels around. So these workouts, OTAs, organized team activities, I always like that, organized team activities, as opposed to what, unorganized team activities. But the organized team activities are voluntary. And I guess when he was in New York, he didn't go to them very much. And apparently here, he's not going to go to them a whole lot either, at least in the beginning. Now, number two, I'd like to see him there because I think it's important for him to begin to learn how the Browns are going to do offense, for Baker Mayfield and all those guys to throw passes to him. I know they're in shorts and everything else, but I would like to see him come in more. You know, number three, the biggest challenge, I think, now for rookie coach Freddie Kitchens is, A, he's a rookie coach. B, he's going to have some strong egos, Jarvis Landry, and Odell Beckham, yeah, they're big buddies going back to LSU and all this stuff, but they both want like, almost every pass thrown to them. And in, in their number four, let's go this, Nick Chubb, big-time running back, you know, he doesn't want to just be all Baker throwing passes all the time. You know, he wants to see, hey, they're going to run the ball on that. So they're going to have to work these issues out with these players. And, you know, number five is that there are so many different players and coaches from so many different places you know whether you all right Freddie Kitchens is is back he was with the Browns for one year his offensive coordinator Todd Munkin he comes from Tampa Bay his defensive coordinator Steve Wilkes comes from Arizona his special team coach Mark Pfeiffer he comes from Minnesota and I think there's only three guys on the total coaching staff that besides Kitchens who was who were with the team the previous year and so these guys have to learn to work together. The players, you're going to have, you know, guys, again, not only Odell Beckham coming in from New York, but Olivia Vernon is coming in from New York. Sheldon Richardson they signed as a free agent. There will be other new guys coming in. So they're going to deal with all that. Uh, I think number – I lost track of the numbers. Let's say number six. Duke Johnson has talked about he wants to be traded. You know, that could be maybe, or that could be kind of like, I want hair. A lot of times we want things that we don't get. And right now, if I'm the Browns, unless I get a really good deal for Duke Johnson, I'm hanging on to him because I don't know if Kareem Hunt is going to be eligible after eight games. He's got to prove he stays out of trouble in that time. Uh, and running backs get hurt. So there you go. There's a couple of Brown scribbles. I think seven or eight, whatever number you want to make it. And finally, though, the amazing thing was when you looked at that picture, on Monday at the press conference, and you have Miles Garrett, who I think already is a Pro Bowl defensive end on his way to be, I think, all pro. And you have Baker Mayfield, who's going to be a Pro Bowl quarterback very soon. And then you had Jarvis Landry, who's made Pro Bowls as a receiver, and Odell Beckham made Pro Bowls as a receiver. Beckham and Landry are only 26. Garrett and Baker Mayfield are only 23. That's a good-looking picture for the Browns.